Now, this is going to change everything. ChatGPT, OpenAI just released the instant checkout. This is crazy. This is insane because it allows users, as you can see here, to purchase product right off of ChatGPT. Why does this matter? It matters so much because more and more ChatGPT is taken over, right? More of Google's market share. And whoever can optimize for this right off the bat, if your e-com website can figure this out, you're going to be ahead of the pack. Therefore, right? Simply put, you're going to make more money. Now, I've already optimized websites for this, right? Preemptively. We already kind of saw this coming. We already have custom GPTs to go over in this video, right? We're going to go over examples. I'm going to show you how to optimize your website so you can show up in this new ChatGPT feature. Now, as we begin, we're going to go over a lot of different things. I want to go over this LinkedIn post here in a second, but check it out. This is important. More than 700 million people turn to GPT each week. That's crazy. And check it out. Plus users, pro users, and even free users can now buy directly from US Etsy sellers right in chat with over a million Shopify merchants. Now, this is important. So you have Etsy and you have Shopify, the two platforms which are supported right now. Just because you have a Shopify e-com website does not mean you are in the clear. That's very important, right? So coming over here, Josh has this really good post. I like this a lot. He said that I've spent hours kind of going into the documents. So here's the documents. You know, you can go here. I'll have links in the description. You can learn about it. These are dev documents. But he says everyone's first instinct will be just to map their Google Shop and feed over. I think that's a mistake. Now, this is where I agree. He says, when in, in ChatGPT shopping at this stage may well come down to data density. That's the key, data density. And this is a bit different than how most people do things. Okay, so if you want to make a lot of money with this, pay close attention. We're going to go over a real life example. You're going to be surprised on how this goes. This is a hyper important, popular Sunglass Hut website. This, this website dominates in Google. But will this website dominate in GBT as it becomes more popular? And you might be surprised, right? I'll give you my guess. I don't think it's really optimized as it should be right now. So what we have here in sheet number one is every single different attribute you can have for structured data. If I were to scroll down, you're going to see different things here. So we have the open AI flags. You can enable search, enable checkout. Okay, cool. And then you have basic product data. Most pages have this enabled with Shopify right out of the gate. And then you have a little bit more complicated things such as item information. You have condition, brand, material. All these things are basically injecting what your item, what you're selling, the thing you're selling, what is it all about? What is its you know primary material used, its overall size, these type of things. Then you have media such as images, videos, and all these things. It's a lot. It's like over a hundred different things. And what we are able to do is take that specific URL, the one we are looking at earlier, right here, and let's just see how it performs. So what I have, I have a custom GBT right here. If I scroll up a little bit, if I keep coming, and what it's going to do, it's going to show us, okay, value yes and yes for these type of things, these attributes. Good. What I'm looking for is NA, right? It does not have these certain item information attributes. It's missing dimensions, length, width, and height, and weight, right? It's missing a video link. Uh, model 3D link. It's missing all these different sales, these price and promotion uh, attributes. It's missing different availability and inventory. You can see it's missing a lot of different things. Now, can you get all of these different attributes for every type of product? Probably not, but there's definitely things here that it could do better, right? Return policy, return window. Listen, what if someone types in the GBT about, I want to buy a pair of sunglasses with a good return policy in case I don't like them? Do you think this is going to show up well in GBT for that? Well, they don't have any structured data for the return policy. And how you can quickly audit any website for this, right? You can come over to schema.org and you'll see exactly how it renders, right? So structured data is just a way for different search engines to, to tease out what a web page or product is all about. And it's been around forever, right? Google, Bing, all these things. And now ChatGPT, of course, is using it too. Now check this out, this is interesting. I don't think it's fully rolled out on my UI right now. So I said, find me the best sunglasses for men under 40 with a good return policy. I think that is a believable query someone would ask, right? You're gonna see these weird long tail queries, conversational queries nowadays, right? And it's gonna give us the information in a split second, right? And it's gonna say, boom, here's your three options. I can click on one, I can visit the store, I can purchase. I bet you 
the user interface, the experience is going to be even easier as they roll this shopping cart thing out. But we have to start thinking like consumers. What do consumers type in to ChatGPT? It's not the simple queries that Google used to take on. It's it's 100% conversational. Now, if you're serious about this and you want to stay ahead of the pack, listen here. So step one, pick your product batches. I don't want you to go to your website or your client's websites and get overwhelmed and do 100 at once. You could get really burnt out. But what I recommend is first pick your top five best selling products. And how I would quantify that is which products, if you were to sell a lot of them, would give you high ROI? Which ones would excite you? Just because you're not ranking on Google right now and selling a lot of a product does not mean you cannot rank on ChatGPT. Two different search engines, right? That's the exciting part. So pick your top five best products. I think I would change that to best products, right? And then build your master attribute spreadsheet, which we have right here. I've already built it for you if it ever loads, right? I have this available in the Rank Expand Academy. If you've never made your first $1,000 with AI, right? This is the place. We have microsites in here. We have professional grade systems. If you want to learn how to use AI at scale, this is where it's at, right? So we're going to build the master attribute spreadsheet, which has all these different things and more. And then we're going to fill it out. That's the boring work, the important work. Because remember, my theory, as well as Josh's theory, if LinkedIn decides to load, right, is that winning in ChatGPT shopping at this stage may well come down to data density. If it gives us options to fill out via structured data, why not fill out every single form available?